now. You're saying yeah. that uh, you're not even happy with the panel of doctors that's been set up. You're aware that the Constitution also makes provision for the inclusion of his personal medical phys physician amongst that particular uh, panel of doctors. Doesn't that put your mind at rest? My dear sister, let me repeat what I'm saying. You see, and, and, and still, even Galifi does not keep up to Galifi. Two wrongs don't mean one right. I am saying that they very much to itself. Because the framers of the constitution are like the gods, they are white. They say that whoever it is that is going to constitute this thing, actually, actually even the, the governor. You understand? The governor for whom this panel was set up. That it has to be his cabinet. And I'm telling you that the cabinet that did this thing, we are cabinet, we, we, it's an illegal cabinet. It's a cabinet. You know, when we we're in government, when I was the commissioner, we we're in ESCO. Hey, the man, the, the guy of a woman wanted this thing done in a hurry. He wanted us to set up all this thing. We we'll say, for those who don't understand, they'll say, oh, well, you know, he's following the constitution. But if you look at the motives, if you look at the method, if you look at the men and women who are involved in this, you understand that first and foremost, it was, it, it's not done in good faith. It is done in bad faith. And it is done with already a preconceived or predetermined. I think we're running out of time. Very quickly, tell us what you think. How can this, in a minute, how can this be resolved? If you say, well, the Constitution uh, well, that has been kicked off on this, uh, getting set with a medical panel is not the right way, what do you hope to see? Well, uh, the, the, you see, essentially, Taraba has a constitutional problem. So we have to go back to the Constitution. And what does the Constitution say? The first thing that has to be, the first thing that has to be solved is that the first way to solve the Taraba problem is, first and foremost, let's respect the court orders. I mean, it's only in Taraba that the court will say one thing. And then Garba is in Gumar, who just do another thing. The deputy governor, he's so interested. And to my shock, nobody actually even cautions him in this country. We are the protectors of judiciary in this country. That is one. That the governor is bad. The constitution says as soon as the governor is bad, you feel to be a, an acting governor. That is what the constitution says. That should happen. Now, after that, you can do all that thing. Another thing way to solve this Taraba problem is that look, we must allow first, a political solution to take place. Because there are also political crises. If you are going to look at this problem purely from, you know, the court, the, 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 the court and dry uh, perspective that most people try to look at it, you are not going to solve the problem. But most importantly, I think it's about time that the presidency in this country, which is that we we'll all subscribe to the presidency, look into the Taraba problem and begin to weigh into it and find a solution to it. Because actually right now, you, the tension, you know, the tense atmosphere has been created. But most importantly, is what you and I are doing now. The media needs to actually shed more light. And please, when the media is talking about the terrible crisis, don't just talk on one side. We all decide together like you are doing. So well, Emmanuel Bello, I think uh, that's where we have to leave it. Uh, we'd like to thank you so very much for finding time to join us uh, via phone uh, from Abuja on this particular matter. Thank you so very much. Uh, Dr. Matu, your closing word, he's actually uh, told us, uh, well, that's not the way to go. He would rather see the president uh, come in to help uh, instead of the constitution of a medical panel or looking at the constitution. Well, uh, let me begin by saying it's uh, rather unfortunate that Emmanuel Bello, who is a practicing journalist, is talking like, you know, somebody like uh, me, who is uh, basically a theoretician. Uh, one is that I don't agree that Nigeria is a federal system and uh, <coughs> basically a three-tier federal system, but functionally two-tier federal system of government. And that's why you have the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary at the second level and at the state level. And the constitution has empowered, has provided clearly the rules, functions, and responsibilities of each of these organs of government at every level. So it's not the responsibility of the president to resolve all PDP in Abuja, to resolve the logjam in Taraba State. It is strictly the responsibility of the political class and the stakeholders in Tarawa State to resolve their issues. Now, there is one thing that Emmanuel Bell, you know, kept mentioning, which I find very strange, and that's the issue of an illegal exco. I don't know what makes an exco legal or what makes it an illegal exco. I remember similarly was the case when Yeradu was indisposed. You know, President Jonathan was made to change his cabinet, and he did. Okay, and so as long as you are the acting governor, acting president of a state or a nation. It is your responsibility to determine who you work with and who you don't work with. Now, if the governor, the substantive governor, is back on the saddle, okay, he has the powers also to change the cabinet to reflect his own wishes and aspirations. So as far as I'm concerned, and as far as it is constitutionally, 
the executive council in Tarawa state as is currently constituted is not an illegal exco and there was no illegality i'm sure in the process of you know the formation of that i don't have to be from Tarawa so i don't know when the exco i knew well, he was I think a you said it went to right. court and you know the court granted an injunction which was uh, Ma not Ma there are such, the courts have jurisdiction courts cannot act outside its jurisdiction a court cannot determine to a particular person who is empowered constitutionally to carry out such a responsibility the such a responsibility should we not we, be we, out. We, we, we that's what we have to close quickly just yeah. tell us uh, what you think uh, well politically speaking as a yeah. scientist uh, should be the way out of this what i think basically suleiman should be the way out is that uh, those who are really trying to push Rabba back to the government house in Jalingo in order to achieve their selfish political desire should have everything. If they love this gentleman whom I have said time and time and again, I've never met him when he was in good health, but people who met him confessed and confirmed that he was such an amiable personality, a good character gentleman. If they truly do love him, they should not be using him as a political guinea pig in order to achieve their own personal and selfish objectives. They should be honest to themselves, they should be honest to him, and they should be honest to the peoples of Tarabo State and Nigeria by implication. Because as part of a system, Tarabo State, whatever happens there, will have some impact on what's happening in other states of the Federation. So the bottom line is that now that the House of Assembly has set up this medical panel to examine, it should go ahead and carry out this responsibility dispassionately and come up with its findings. If it is convinced that he is capable, let him go back to Jalingo. If it is convinced that he is not capable, he still requires some medical attention. These political forces that are making the state ungovernable should please give peace a chance so that, I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the rest of the people that are supposed to be the beneficiaries of governance, they really enjoy, because uh, it, it's distracting. Well, I think good a place uh, for you to anchor that, uh, Dr. Yeah. Mato. Yeah. I would like to thank you so very much for finding time to join us, uh, well, physically, as against so when you stay in our just studios <laughs> uh, to talk much, to us. Uh, we appreciate Thank you. Well, let's summarize that. It takes a moment now, and uh, we will return to look at uh, another issue that surely will interest you. Stay with us. <laughs>